Did all the souls that were in the spiritual sky fall out of the spiritual sky at once or at different times, or are there any souls that are always good, they're not foolish? They no, there are majority, ninety percent, they're always good. They never fall down. So we're among the ten percent? Yeah. Or less than that. In the, in the material, whole material world, all the living entities, they are just like in the prison house. There are some population, but they are not majority. The majority of the population, they are outside the prison. Similarly, majority of living beings, part and parcel of God, they are in the spiritual world. Only a few falls down. Does Krishna know ahead of time that the soul is going to be foolish and fall? Krishna? Yes, Krishna may know because he is omniscient. Are more souls falling all the time? Huh? Not soul? all the time, but there is the tendency of fall down. Not for all, but because there is independence. Everyone is not liking to misuse the independence. The same example. It's like a government constructing a city and constructs also prison house. Because the government knows that somebody will be criminal. So their shelter must be also constructed. It is very easy to understand. Not that cent per cent population will be criminal, but government knows that some of them will be. Otherwise, why they construct prison homes also? One may say, where is the criminal you are constructing? The government knows no, there will be criminal. So if the ordinary government can know, why God cannot know? Because there is tendency. The origin of that tendency is? Yes. From where does that tendency Tendency come? means the independence. So everyone can know that independence means one can use it properly, one can misuse it. That is independence. If you make it one way only, that you cannot become holding down, that is not independence. That is force. Therefore, Krishna says, jate chasi tathakura. Now you do whatever you like. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna.